Hi everybody I wish you a warm welcome to Usatility. Today is special we are on the way to see how to launch and play Evany the King's Return on your PC, from now you are displaying it on screen. We will be able to easily download and set up Evany the King's Return so that we can play this game on a Windows desktop or laptop with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. Then without further ado, let's go buddies. Before anything else mates, to start we need to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because there's a link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We ended up there on the internet site of Usatility, at which we have a meticulous demonstration on the way to download and install Ebony the King's Return on laptop or computer. We search down a little bit and mouse click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we will use to get access to this game Ebony the King's Return on our PC. As you can discover from here we access some advantages of using that emulator. So we are ready to start downloading the Ebony the King's Return by simply clicking on this button play on blue stacks that you can visualize here in green color. The step is clicking on that button. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the executable file, OK, then we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the system. We have clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installation software better. The installation software is really easy to understand. It contains a couple of possibilities, install, and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path genuinely does. We only simply click on it. And therefore we note that we end up with here the path where in fact the emulator can be installed. If we are planning to change for better this folder we are required to click on that browse option, and now we choose another directory and set up the emulator precisely where we desire. I will keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I simply click install. Fantastic. The setup begins and it is going to progress with the download of all these MB which are visible on our computer screen. Once you download it, it may be slightly more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go faster or at a lower speed, based on your type of access to the web and depending on the efficiency of the emulator servers. At the moment they're going very fast. The download is done, and so right now it continues on with the setup phase. The setup requires a little bit more or less time primarily based on the strength of your hard drive, the more powerful it is, the shorter the software setup time and or vice versa. If we join the download and install step it normally takes quite a while, so show patience. It has now finished on my side. At present, the emulator happens to be started on autopilot. As you can discover, down here, there's a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it comes to the ending, the emulator can be started for the first time. Indeed the emulator was already started there for the very first time. Before we keep going, as you can see now, it has made a couple of app icons here on the computer desktop. The blue stacks and blue stacks multi instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is definitely the only one we're concerned with. When we want to run Ebony the King's Return on the laptop or computer, we double-click this particular app icon and as a result run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance app icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even anything such as that, of course, it's an software icon that we would quite likely never use. Shall we perform the following step, which is actually a must-have, and that is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is started. Right here we have got to log on. So now as soon as we're right here, we must absolutely do this next phase that is absolutely mandatory. Therefore just click on sign in. Presently it shows checking info. It could occasionally get stopped at checking info and it fails to continue. In this case, you could attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it will most probably be sorted out. At this time we're going to insert our email address and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. As an example you can utilize the exact same email you are using at this moment in your own YouTube account. Therefore I am going to provide my details and I will go back when I have accomplished it. Voila, details typed in. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We must approve them all by just pressing, I agree. Following that, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. 
You might keep it checked and this will generate a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can utilize this option if you want. We click accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched automatically and on autopilot. To set up the game, we are required to get to the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking on the app icon marked in green. At present that we are watching the desktop of this emulator for Android, we can see that we have there the install app game option. We then click on this button. Listed here we have got the game app. How about we mouse click here on the install choice that I'm just showing now in green color. That click will commence the software installation. Right now it is going to install the Android game, it could take a bit of time or perhaps it might well be extremely fast. It all will depend on on our own connection to the web. It's as of now completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular option I'm highlighting in green, if you want to use Ebony the King's Return for the first time. Now let's simply click on that my game's choice just above. You are now on the emulator desktop, and then we're on the way to click on the fresh Ebony the King's Return app icon which was provided. Your video game is started for the first time. Here we have it, I am able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the volume level of that emulator. This is here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this manner we don't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we should activate the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This one is actually the first one, we mouse click on that icon which I am basically identifying in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. Granted that we would like to run the app using all the screen, we select that software icon. And we might at present be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in full screen function. To stop the 100% screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And we'd now play in standard screen setting. At present, I am choosing to demonstrate you the keys mapping and that is surprisingly useful. That step we will probably be in a position to utilize the game more effortlessly. The first point is to click this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to get the appropriate setups. I am going to let the normal settings, though if you intend to adjust it, you can do it without having problem. Obviously, the emulator is entirely in our own language. In certain cases it occurs that the emulator is presented in the erroneous language, for instance, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to place it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And thus there inside of various other configuration settings, we click on the language drop down. We will determine the language we prefer, German, Mandarin, and so forth. When the language is chosen, we would save, the emulator will reboot, along with the game app, the next time we use it, would of course be in the opted for language. So now, there's another information that we need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google telling that a different electronic device has been associated with our Google account. It will ask us if we're the individuals who have connected that device. Of course, we may not get worried, simply because the emulator is simulating an Google Android device. So you can find which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we come back here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Let's go here to the, model, choice. And there we realize that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for that video tutorial. I hope that you liked it, especially that everyone thought it was interesting. If that's so, allow it a great like, subscribe, and if you have feedback, concerns or suggestions, let them in the comment area below. You could even leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams from time to time, you get it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Simply click any of these training videos that are appearing on the screen and see you in the future online videos. Bye.